Hi everybody, it's Josh Pruitt Realtor with Pure Gold Realty and I'm here today to talk to you about the single most costly mistake that home sellers make when selling their home. I'm excited to talk to you about it, so let's get to it. The goal when listing your house is to maximize visibility and increase traffic. You should be careful to present your house in a way that will increase demand so that more buyers express interest and possibly submit offers. The $25,000 mistake that home sellers make when listing their home is to overprice their home. The mistake is not pricing it to sell immediately. By pricing it to sell quickly, you're attracting the most amount of buyers to the property and gives you the best chance to garner multiple offers. You wanna get buyers competing with each other because when buyers compete, that gets expensive. The only way to win in a contract negotiation is to pay the seller a lot of money. I've had sellers believe that the best way to list their home is to price it with a buffer so that there's room for negotiation. I understand the merits of this strategy, but it's more likely to deter buyers and here's why. Buyers are more educated today than they ever have been. They have all the information about the neighborhoods and the type and the and the the price and size of the home that they're looking for than they've ever had. All this information is at their fingertips. So when they spot a deal, they can know that immediately. They understand what a good price for the house is. They're not solely reliant upon their agent to tell them, yes, this is a good price or no, that's not a good price or let's do the comps and see. It's almost instinctual at this point for a buyer to know and to be able to spot what a good deal is. When a home is overpriced, it tends to sit on the market longer. And when the home sits on the market longer, buyers start to wonder why. They start to feel that maybe it's not only overpriced, but there's something wrong with it physically. So now they start to ask themselves if it's even worth it to go look because it's obviously overpriced, there's something wrong with it, and it's gonna be a waste of their time. And so they just decide to move on and your listing becomes stale and it sits even longer. So when your house is sitting on the market for a long period of time and you haven't had a lot of showings, what's the next logical thing to do? The dreaded price reduction, price reduction, price reduction, price reduction. That's true. That's what you do. So now instead of the market chasing you, you're chasing the market and we don't want that we want the buyers to clamor over themselves and and compete with each other for the rights to your home and so it puts us in a, a tough position so once once buyers kind of smell blood in the water well now they sense an opportunity to negotiate the price down even further say you finally nabbed uh, an interested buyer who's willing to put an offer in on your house what they're going to do well and Every house in Austin, we live in Austin, Texas, it's eventually gonna get offers. Like somebody's gonna buy your house at some point, right? So any house will sell for the right price. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna send you an offer that they know you're gonna refuse, but it's gonna be a low, and it's gonna be a low ball offer. So once you receive that low ball offer, you're so excited by this time because there's been so much stress up until this point that you, go towards your bottom line pretty quickly. This happens regularly. I, I use this as a buyer's agent all the time. I, I give them a huge chunk, take, I take a huge chunk off of that, that offer price compared to the list price because I know what's gonna happen next. They're gonna come really close to their bottom line and we're gonna be able to shave thousands and thousands, 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 thousands of dollars. Of dollars off the price of the home. Any house will sell for the right price. The trick is to price your home competitively to begin with to attract the most amount of buyers possible and get them competing with each other for the rights to buy your home. That's my job. I'm very good at my job and I look forward to working with you. Uh, if you click the link below, that'll take you to my website where you can sign up for a home evaluation. It's no obligation. I love what I do and if I can help you, then I've done my job. So again, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to the next one. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Mm.